We are here to tell you about the journey that leads into the heart of Babanango Game Reserve. It is a journey taken up by many as they venture through the land of the Zulu to find this gem hidden within the rolling hills of Zululand. And before you arrive, you are greeted by the might and majesty of the kingdom as you pass the resting places of the great kings of old and the great battle sites of Isanjoan and Ngome, where if you are quiet enough, you can still hear the warriors chanting from the ages stones. You will then be met by a warm breeze that kisses the sweat on your neck, a feeling well known by those whose boots are familiar with this rugged patch of earth. The smell of the wild blossoms, the call of the African fish eagle, high above in the heavens, you know that you are truly seeing Mother Africa in all her beauty. You will then meet some of the most special people who are the team that make this experience possible. The sons and daughters of the soil, a people who in the majority carry with them the pride of being from the mighty bloodlines of the great warriors and heroes of the past, who with spear and shield formed this great empire, a mighty people who carry themselves with the regalness even in their service to others. We then take our journey to the African wild, the tough and resilient mountain aloes that populate the savannah, the zebra herds moving with their spectacular lines flowing into each other, the lazy hippo enjoying their time in this dam. It is truly a sight to see, the natural world untouched. Away from all the worries of the world, you start to feel this is what life is all about. You will go up a long and rocky winding road that will lead you to see Africa from a view. Below you will be the valleys and plains of this beautiful land. The sky filled with splashes of oranges and reds as the sun sets in the horizon. And as you have your cold drink to quench that afternoon thirst, you realize that you have been graced to witness a peak of the face of God. There is a stillness. Besides the flight of the drowsy beetles, the rhino that plods his weary way home and the herds that lower over the plains, chuckle calling in the far distance, it is truly the parting of the day. And as we make our way to the dinner fire, we are graced by the presence of Orion and Scorpio, Venus and Mars amongst the other celestial beings. It has been a journey getting here, one that has been filled with adventure and discovery. We want everyone to take part of what we are doing here, to see what we are doing in the small corner of Africa, to see the development and to take part in this extraordinary journey that won't lead them only to a destination, but also an unforgettable experience that will live on forever.